and my name is Addison Woosley. I strongly believe that abortion is murder. I also believe murder is wrong, so I'm here to ask you to make abortion illegal in Raleigh. Abortion should be illegal because it's murder. The definition of murder is the killing of one human being by another without justification and often with attended malice. When mothers choose to slaughter their innocent babies, they already have fingerprints, noses, they can recognize their mom's voice, they can hiccup, and their heart is beating. On ultrasounds, the baby tries to move away from the disturbing instruments they use to kill the baby. The baby's mouth opens wide in a scream when being killed. These babies are alive. They feel being killed. It hurts them, and there's nothing they can do about it. There's no way around it. Abortion is murder. So why is it? If an infant is destroyed before birth, there's no problem. But if killed after birth, it's considered a brutal murder. These babies aren't its or fetuses. They are human beings, and they deserve to get the same human rights as any other person. As good old Dr. Seuss said, a person's a person no matter how small. But every single day, 125,000 small people are being slaughtered in America. Just in America, an abortion is performed every 25 seconds. Regardless of age, race, or size, people should be protected. We need to stand up and protect the babies. Another big reason abortion is wrong is that God says it's wrong. It's only by his grace your mother didn't abort you, because if she did, you wouldn't be sitting here today. In Jeremiah 1.5, it says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. God says babies are alive in the womb. Some people say that abortion should be the mom's choice. It's her body. But what about the baby's choice? The baby's body is in the mom's body. Abortion reminds me of slavery. Owners said that their slaves were their property, and they could do whatever they wanted with them. Or, Just how moms say about their babies. My hope is that in a few years, we'll look back at abortion and think, that was so cruel, I can't believe we did that. Just how we all look back at slavery. The question is, who will you be? The slave owner, the man nailing the whites only side on the water fountain, Rosa Parks, or Abraham Lincoln? Who are you going to be? Make a choice. My choice is made. I'm here today standing up for what's right. I'm here today speaking for those who can't speak for themselves. Are you choosing to be like the plantation worker flogging the little black child? Or are you going to protest even if it costs your life like Martin Luther King Jr.? Who are you going to be? If you think abortion should, if you think abortion should be illegal, would you please stand up? We need to change the law to change the... Order, 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 order. If you think abortion should be illegal, would you please stand up? We need to change the law to change the world, so let's stand up and do it. Thank you. Order, order. Every, every, everyone, y'all, please, please, S sir, every, please, sit down. El día de hoy he querido compartir con ustedes este breve video para que simplemente podamos tomar nota de dos detalles muy particulares. En primer lugar, cómo una pequeña mujer se anima a llevar adelante este gran mensaje tan noble que es el de verdad y de vida. En segundo lugar, también quisiera mostrar y exhibir lo que en efecto es el progresismo en su máxima expresión, donde los discursos de sororidad y de la lucha del feminismo se acaban cuando aparece una mujer que se anima a pensar distinto y en forma independiente. Tal como se ha visto, bastó que una simple niña dijese una verdad máxima, como que toda vida se debe respetar, para que saliesen los ataques de aquellos sectores progresistas que hablan en nombre de las mujeres para luego terminarlas atacando. En efecto, espero que este humilde mensaje que hemos transmitido sirva para generar conciencia y dejar de consumir un discurso tan hegemonizado por el progresismo como esta supuesta igualdad, cuando en efecto lo único que se ha visto es la implantación de una ideología pro-aborto que va en desmero de los más débiles.